It's now time for The Morning Show on XL7 TV. Good morning. Welcome to The Morning Show on XL7 TV. I'm Bob Reckonwell. This is Scooter. Whoop, whoop. Callies. How are you, sir? I am wonderful. Wonderful. Who Can't told you complain. that? Well, my wife's not awake yet, so I'm going with See, what I... See, that's the whole thing. She you hadn't told me yet. You get up early in the morning, and you don't talk to nobody, so you don't know if you're wonderful or not. No, I go with what I think until my wife gets up and tells me. That's when the world changes. That is when every the universe will shift a little. And if she's not in a good mood, oh. nobody's wonderful. Well, we just pray nobody talks to her until she takes a shower, and then she'll be all right, so... As long as everybody leaves her alone before then, my house will still be in one piece. Yeah. I hope. Peace in the valley. Peace in the valley. <laughs> Don't say anything to her until she takes her shower. Don't speak to Amanda until she's had a shower. So if you see Amanda out on the road today, or if you see her out in Walmart or somewhere, ask her if she's had her shower yet. <laughs> <laughs> just say, I'm oh, just curious if I can say hello. <laughs> yeah. Don't say hi. Say, have you had your shower yet? You're still going to get your head ripped off if she hasn't, but good try. Nice try. <laughs> Roller Funeral Homes of Arkansas bring you the morning prayer each and every morning, and we thank them for that. With all our respect is how they do business. It's not just their motto. 29 locations that serve you in the state of Arkansas, one in Memphis, Tennessee, and they bring you the morning prayer, so let's go for it. Lord, we just thank you for the day that you've given us. Thank you for the the world that we are in. Thank you for the United States of America. Lord, it's still the best country in, in the whole world. Lord, we just pray that you will um, send us a little ease on the hot temperatures and send us a little bit of rain. We could, we could stand a little bit of rain. Lord, we just pray that you'll be with the elderly that... Um, that may be short on air conditioning, hope they have fans, and we know that there's organizations out there that can help them. Uh, they just need to uh, contact probably the sheriff's office or the police department. They can help them get lined up with that. Lord, we just, uh, we just praise you for, for what you do for us and, and how you keep us safe. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Roller Funeral Homes of Arkansas. If you don't know where Roller is here in Mountain Home, take a trip up Highway 5 North past hospital drive take a look for the largest american flag you ever seen a flag bigger than that no i have not it's, i have it's not huge. either uh, be on the right hand side of the road it's a big american flag pull in there go in and see them talk about pre-planning go get that taken care of your loved ones didn't live your life so they don't know how you want to finish it up go uh, go talk to them at roller funeral home with all our respect uh, renata jenkins byler and her staff do a wonderful job all across the state of arkansas and now we're going to take a look at a video from Bob and Linda Zador of the Z Team, Century 21 Realtors. Be back in just a moment. Ever been in a cave before? It's our first time. All right. Where are you going? I'll see you at the car! Uh, how will we... The car! Your offer has been accepted. Ever bought a house before? It's our first time. All right. Where are you going? I'll see you at the closing. But how will we... The closing! Welcome back to The Morning Show on XL7 TV. Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z Team, Century 21 Realtors here in Mountain Home. If you don't know where they're at, they're across the street from the McDonald's here in town. 870-405-0793 is their number. Give them a call. Right now we're going to take a look at the White River. God, the God's Country shot. That looks nice. It does look nice. You know what really looks nice? What's that? Those clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, but I think they're. Uh, if they could the just produce a little bit of something, would really be nice. We, we've got a chance. We'll look at that later, but you never know. What you're looking at is uh, Marion County, back into Baxter County, the city of Cotter, Arkansas. Way to the right, that white building is Contractor Trust. To the left is the Rainbow Bridge. Off in the distance is Anderson Knob, is what we've we've dubbed it at the moment. And the Rainbow, the uh, Rainbow, the uh, Railroad Museum, the baseball fields there at the City of Cotter. A Big Spring Park is up around the corner. Have you ever been in the Big Spring Park? 
You ever been in the uh, big spring? I haven't been in the water. My kids have. But yeah. I've been there while everybody was doing their stuff. I have not been there. It looks nice. It's it's really, really nice. They've, they've done a great job of, of fixing up that whole area. Uh, it's really, really neat. Cotter's turned into a really a cool place to go. A historic little town. Yes. Very, very nice. Now, you missed yesterday. I think we count five or six boats. Oh, is that going right? Going up and down yesterday during the morning show. Hmm. 870-405-0793 is the number retiredarkansas.net is the website go there get some kind of critter crawling across Oops. the rocks did you see Let that go back <laughs> that's gone now but uh, there's something kind of crawling up that rock oh uh, don't know what it was missed it 870-405-0793 is the phone number bob and linda zadora the z team realtors you would recommend to a friend I like to tell people, yes, they are busy, but never too busy to talk to you. So if you would, just give them a call. If you want a piece of God's country, they're the folks that get you hooked up. That's my favorite shot. I like the watching the rolling water, the color of the trees. Don't ask me what color they are, but the color of the trees. And uh, just watching that river mosey on by, it's uh, remarkable. Let's take a look at the weather. We can spend the rest of our time looking at these yeah, pictures. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Temperatures around the area, Mountain Home is already 80, Harrison is 79, Batesville is 80, Yellville is 79, Marshall 73, Salem, Arkansas is 82, Mountain View is 73, Calico Rock is 80, West Plains, Missouri is 82, Springfield, Missouri 81, Poplar Bluff is 81, and St. Louis is 76. The radar looks like this. There is some rain in, in the area, but not close enough to make a difference for us going across the state of Illinois, coming out of Iowa, and uh, it's it's just dry, folks. It's just plain old dry. Basically the same, same warnings as the other day, excessive heat warning um, in northeast Arkansas. Baxter County is in that as well. Heat advisory for uh, the big part of Oklahoma, two-thirds of Texas, all of Arkansas, northern half of Louisiana, gets into Missouri, Mississippi, southern tip of Illinois, Tennessee, Alabama. It's, uh, we're living in the hot pot. The seven day forecast, slight chance of thunderstorms, then chance of showers. High today, 102. I think we're about to set a record for consecutive days of 100 plus. Man, I can believe that. But Tem it's going to break after that. You think? It says. Yeah. I don't buy it. Chance of showers. Low. <laughs> chance of showers is 30%. Low tonight, 74. Mostly sunny tomorrow. High of 92. Tomorrow night, mostly clear. Low 68. Sunday, sunny. High of 92. Sunday night, low of 67. And clear. Monday, sunny. High of 96. Low of 70. And Tuesday, slight chance of thunderstorms. I have 98. Wednesday's going to be 93, and Thursday you'll be back. It's not going to get very low. What do you think? Oh, you can't. I can't ask you that. You cheat. I know. I <laughs> cheat all the time. Tree pollen, low today. None tomorrow and none on Sunday. Check it tomorrow, and it'll be low today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Grass pollen, moderate today. High tomorrow, high on Sunday. Ragweed, low on today, and none on Saturday or Sunday. Lake levels. Lake Norfolk, 565.64, which is 13.64 feet above full pool of 552. They are currently running one generator, and um, that probably will continue on for quite a while. Lake Bull Shoals is 678.16, which is 19.16 above full pool of 659, and they are running eight generators. We were told back at the first of the month, first of last month, that they're going to run eight generators for, for a quite while. a while. Try to get that lake under control. They did open Cranfield Island uh, before the 4th of July, so two-thirds of the campsites, I think, were back open, which is a great thing. That's awesome. For the campers, so they are honoring reservations that were made previously for camper spots for these dates that are coming up. So if you happen to have one of those, you might want to call just to check to make sure it's available. Uh, but the lake is coming down. 
fishing's getting back to a little bit toward normal because all the high water is uh, receding some, which is good. And uh, there you go. That is your weather and the updates. Uh, Lake level updates brought to you by Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z team, realtors you would recommend to a friend. Always busy, but never too busy to take a call from you. 870-405-0793 is their phone number. RetiredToArkansas.net is their website. Check them out, and we'll be back. You're watching The Morning Show on XL7 TV. Be back in a moment. It's a matter of taste, and at Brick Oven Pizza Company in Mountain Home, delicious taste is all you will find. Enjoy signature crafted pizzas and appetizers, as well as oven-baked sandwiches, quesadillas, salads, pastas, and desserts. When it comes time to relax or meet up with friends, Brick Oven Pizza has you covered. Handmade cocktails and ice-cold beer are always available at their fully stocked bar. No time to dine in? No problem. Call in your order and use Brick Oven's convenient drive through window for all your to-go orders. It's a matter of taste at Brick Oven Pizza Company in Mountain Home. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. We're going to take a look at some news highlights if we have any. We got any news highlights, Kurt? Hadn't I hadn't even looked. <laughs> Farmers market tomorrow, Saturday. Um, I'd go early because I'm sure that the vendors will set up a little bit early, at least at least by eight o'clock, eight eight and nine, before it gets too hot. There was uh, forty something odd vendors there last Saturday, and it's a, a remarkable little thing they've got going on. Uh, Fifth and Shiras and Mountain Home, and uh, check that out. The farmers market benefits uh, all the local vendors plus the food bank of North Central Arkansas. The Twin Lakes Retired Police Scholarship Fund, they are still selling, still giving you a chance to win a two-day houseboat trip courtesy of both souls like Boat Dock, a $300 auto or boat detail by A plus auto and marine detail, or a America the Beautiful five ounce uncirculated silver coin. A donation of $5 will get you one ticket. A donation of $20 will get you five tickets. You can buy those by contacting any, any of the members of the retired police. Uh, give Bob Zador a call if you want to uh, get with him. I'm sure he's got some tickets. That giveaway will be done on the 15th of July and they said they're going to do the drawing at the arena, but I'm going to see if I can't get them to come here that morning and, and do it here. Oh, okay. Uh, do it live on TV. So That would be pretty cool. We'll talk about that a little bit and see what's happening. You, um, I got one here. The Baxter County Library is hosting their second concert in their series of indoor summer concerts. It'll be this Saturday, July 9th at 7 p.m. with the New York jazz trio the daniel bennett group uh bookworm cafe will also be open during this time from six to eight so if you want any information just go to backslib.org and forward slash events and you can go right into it see what's going on mountain home city council had a meeting last night they adjusted the budget some um everybody knows about the explosion that happened down at tracy marina uh, unfortunately on Sunday night before the 4th and they've determined that that was caused by um, a boater not using their air evacuation system on the inboard motor uh, I guess that's the best way to say that let's take a look at uh, what else happened over here a lot of negative stuff on there and I'm not interested in talking about a bunch of negative stuff I hear you yeah first day of the Chuck Morton uh, junior golf tournament ended, ended in a three-way tie. Um, that will continue on. The final round will be played today. So, and not a whole lot of things going on this time of the year to um, talk about. But we will have uh, this week in sports coming up. Friday morning sports will be here in just a little bit. We're going to take a break right now. And we'll come back with this week in real estate with Bob Zadora. Back in just a moment. Notice every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car. Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out, from a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. 
located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. At Connor Family Funeral Home, our goal is to provide our friends and neighbors with caring, compassionate services at an affordable price. Connor Family is a full-service funeral home that offers a wide range of services to meet your family's needs and customs. We are the first on-site crematory in the area and provide many options to memorialize your loved ones and address all the details for a more personalized service. Where compassion and affordability meet, Connor Family Funeral Home in Mountain Home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, we hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. Are you looking for the best barbecue in two states? Holy smokes! Want the meatiest fall off the bone ribs? Holy smokes! The most tender and delicious pulled pork? Holy smokes! The tastiest brisket in the Ozarks? Holy smokes! Holy smokes barbecue and catering is the only place you need to go. Dine in, carry out, and the best food for your next catered event. Holy smokes! We're your mountain home for great barbecue cooking. Holy smokes! A higher calling for your taste buds. Welcome back to the morning show. It's time for this week in real estate with Bob Zadora, Century 21, the Z team. How are you, sir? I'm great, I'm great. You know, it's hot. Yes, sir, it is. You know, they call it the dog days of summer. I didn't see a dog outside. I saw some deer the other day, but I haven't seen yeah, any. And they were just kind of strolling. They weren't, they weren't prancing across the road. No, they're hanging out <clears> in my <throat> front yard. My wife's flower bed in the front yard is eaten down to a nub, and that yeah. just drives me well, crazy. Because they don't want to go too far. And we've bought all these fancy little deer deterrent things, and we planned them out. <laughs> and something got into one of her flower pots and planted it right on top of one of those deterrents. And I said, well, I guess that was a waste of money. But welcome to Arkansas. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Real estate business is still going strong here, I would imagine. It's, we're still busy. Yes, sir. Yeah. When people are looking, do you find them looking, uh, we are talking a little bit off air, Zillow, Trillia, those websites, what's the purpose of those sites? Those, uh, the, the, they're a business, first of all. The purpose of those sites are they're clickbait. So they don't care about keeping current. They don't care about anything else. They want you to see a house that you like and go through and click at the pictures and everything else because every time you go click, 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 they make money off the revenue and the, the advertisers. Um, they, the, the best thing you can do is go to retiredarkansas.net or go to Realtor. Uh, they're current. They're every 15 minutes that gets refreshed. So a house that goes up, that comes on the market, boom, it's there. Uh, now, truly on Zillow, they do the same thing with stuff that comes on the market because as soon as it hits, when it hits Paragon, which is our local system here, and it goes into a nationwide system, that's where that gets picked up. And, and from there, the new stuff comes up right away, but they're not in any big hurry to take stuff down. So when there's a, a price change on a property or property goes under contract, whether it goes under and it becomes pending or they make it uh, active contingent or taking backups, that doesn't show up on there because they just want you to keep on there and keep looking. Sure, because the more active listings they show on Zillow or Trillia, right. the more clicks they're going to get and they're paid by the click. That's right. That's right. So uh, whereas Realtor, which is owned by us, it's owned by the Realtors, and we want that time to be timely for our clients, for you that are at home that are looking at houses, you can get the same notifications from them right away. But you'll also get 
you also know if that house goes on a contract. And with the market being the way it is, especially if you look at in other places where the market is equally fast, you want to know that when you're looking at that house saying, oh, yeah, well, we're going to go there next week. That doesn't mean anything. You know, that house may be under contract already, but they're still showing that as being active. Uh, Linda had a call from a girl who was sent her, she gave us a referral and she sent it, Linda some uh, listings. She said, I'd like to, I'm going to come down next week. I'd like to see these houses. It's great. So she runs them all up on Paragon, our system here. And all of them are under contract or taking backups, uh, pending. None of them were good. So she called the girl back and she says, well, where did you get these from? She says, well, I got them from Zillow. Linda says, well, here, go to our website and search there. The search engine's real easy. Take a look and see what, uh, see what you can find there instead. Okay, fine. So she calls Linda back about an hour later. She says, well, I'm not gonna use your website. I'm going back to Zillow. And Linda says, well, why? She says, because all the ones that I'm looking for on your website, they're all under contract already. Thinking that, like, go back to Zillow <laughs> and they're not under contract. Okay, they're gonna be uh, off on They'll Zillow. be off, yeah, so I was like, no, you don't understand how the process works here. So then people don't know what they don't know. Right, and by the way, that website is retardarkansas.net and you wanna check that out. Newly revamped, looks great. Yeah, yeah, it's much easier to search. Yes. Uh, she did, they did a really, really good job of changing the thing. Uh, and to be able to go on there and take a look, but people think that you're like, like you're hiding stuff. No, I want you to know. I want you to know what's going on right now. I want you to know. Yeah, because we want you to be informed on what's really available and what's not. Sure. And if you're coming from Chicago or Detroit or California or anywhere, and you're coming next week, chances are if you see a house today, 70% yeah. chance that that house is not going to be available when you get here. Yeah, we put a house under in a day, uh, Friday. She put it in on Friday. Saturday, we were getting everything signed, and it's a nice house, and done. Yeah. So some of the big houses are still going. Some of the, uh, uh, but the regular first-time home buyer homes, people that are coming here to retire and just are looking for a little home, there there just aren't that many of them, or they're priced more than they were, and that's really what it is. The supply and demand issues have, are still taking effect, even with, and they'd rather look for a home for two hundred that maybe they can put more cash down on and don't have to worry as much about the interest rates because they're not going to take as big of a mortgage. Mm -hmm. And because it's that doubling of mortgages, that's six, $700 a month. And I heard this morning on the way in that they're talking about another three quarters of a percent jump yeah. next month. Yeah, and then now that's the prime rate, but the, the mortgage rates get affected by that because of the bond. Right. It's a, the mortgage rates are set by the bond dish. Uh, it's a bond thing. That they, 10 year uh, bonds is what they sell. And that's what the mortgage rates come from. Um, it's, I don't know. You know, I, I, I wish I had better grasp. I wish they, I actually, I don't care that I don't have as good of a grasp. Wish I did. wish they had a better grasp. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's kind of scary sometimes when you go through reading the different articles and the different, this guy's got this opinion, this girl's got that opinion. But before you can have a grasp, you have to have a clue. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You know, with the price of gas going as crazy as it is right now, four sixty nine a gallon is common. Uh, up north, it's even higher. You get into oh, yeah. a state like Illinois where the, the fuel tax is even higher than anywhere else. Um, are you seeing more and more video showings, uh, doing things more with like a Zoom call? We, yeah, we've been trying to do the Zoom uh, showings as best we can. We've been trying to uh, help people be able to see what the pr properties look like, what they, uh, you know, walk through it, as it were, and be able to get a better grasp for what's there. Uh, to be able to say, well, here, open up this pantry. You can see how these shelves come out and these have got sliders on them, stuff like that. And that's, that can be done relatively easily because most places have got you know good internet to sell cell service is all good here so that's a good thing um it helps but you still got to come down and see it i'm not real big on i know there have been in the frantic uh past couple of months the way things have been uh there's been uh shh quiet <laughs> there's been uh uh pe homes that were bought sight unseen and so I'm not a big proponent of that. I want you to be able to, no matter how good of a picture I take, 
because we, we had a guy came in, they wanted to buy, they, were, they weren't coming down for a while and they wanted to see it. I says, I will gladly write the offer for you. Uh, I said, but we're not going to close until you see it because I'm not going to get involved in. It needs to be contingent on visual. Exactly. And that's what we did. And so they came down and they goes, well, it looks just like the pictures. Okay, that's good. But now that's you good, know but that. Now you feel better you, about now, it. Exactly. Because, well, because a month from now they go, well, I didn't know that this was here. Or I didn't know that was there because and people, you know. Yeah, that neighbor's 300 feet closer than I thought he was. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. I thought I wanted to go out the back porch and be able to, and it's like, well, you can't always do that. Yeah. Uh, Let's take a look at your numbers. We can visit if we got time afterwards. We, yeah, it'll probably be good. We'll get this done here because <laughs> this week there were 46 new listings came on the market, three commercial properties, 14 parcels of land, 29 homes came on the market. They ranged in price from $39,000 to $1.3 million. Six of them are taken back up. Uh, there were 40 sales, three commercial properties, 16 parcels of land, 24 homes sold. They ranged in price from $35,000 to $575,000. Average sale price this week was $232,000, 95 days on market, with a total of 5.7 in residential real estate closed this past week. Nine properties expired, 19 had price changes. Uh, we got 93 pendings. Currently, there's 219 homes listed on the MLS, so we picked up nine more this past week. Uh, year to date, for 2022, there's been 597 homes have sold for $131 million. Average sale price this year is $220,000. Now, that's the average. Uh, $220,000 with 86 days on market. Last year, there had been 636 homes that sold. So you can see how the market was really catching up last, last year. It just mm -hmm. really exploded through spring. Uh, for $122 million, average sale price last year was one ninety two dollars with 96 days on market. So the... Um, you can see how last year how things were blowing up. This year is slowing down some, um, but it seems like the bigger houses are still going because the price points are up higher throughout the market. I mean, like I say, this for first-time home buyers and people just looking for their little getaway. Uh, there just isn't really much out there because those people that own those homes, they're not as quick to want to sell that home and take out another mortgage at 6% because they're in this one for three. Right. Even if they're in it for four, that still makes a difference. And, and those are the people that need that help the most. You know, that 2% makes a big difference to them in their, their daily lifestyle. What are you seeing for current rate right now? Uh, five, seven, I think. So it's bouncing right in there. It touched six a little bit, then it came back down. Um, but I, you know, two and a half threes are done. You know, if we could get back into the fours, even it'd make a big difference. But they need they they've decided, the great day have decided that uh, we're going to use interest rates on mortgages to slow down the economy enough to stop the inflation. Allegedly, without causing a recession, but I don't see how that's going to happen. They're, they just have no control over this at all. <laughs> it just is, Bob. It, you know, I what's mean, the highest interest rate you've seen on a home? In your lifetime? Oh, if we go back to the uh, to the Carter years, I mean, there were at 15. Yeah. yeah. Now, I wasn't in real estate then, but I would talk <coughs> to other coppers and we were working. I was on a job then. And, you know, guys buying. But the guys were still buying homes. Yeah, back in the 80s when I had my license here in, in town, mid-80s, uh, owner finance was a big thing because they could get 10% money. Right. 10% return on their investment. Yeah. You know. Hopefully, we won't see those. And people days will again. call looking for owner financing, thinking, they, but they are you know rent to own type things, but they don't realize that how much money they have to put down mm -hmm. to be able to do that. I mean, that owner's got to pay all, get all of his fees and transfer fees and everything else has got to be paid, and he has to have enough money to kind of guarantee that if you move into it and don't take good care of it, that he's going to be able to recoup. Some sure. of that money back. Yeah, got to regroup. So you got to have you got to have enough money down to to be able to put enough money down to be able to do that. And and most people don't want to do that. They want to sell the house and move on. They sure. want to move on to something else. They're not looking for because, loosen up their capital. Because what what were they what were houses running then when you were? Oh gosh, a high a high dollar house here would be a hundred thousand. Yeah. See, so I mean, it's not. Granted, with the rate of inflation, the people have got more money, but it. 
the costs of the houses are much higher now than they were then. So they talk about, well, we could go back to that 15%. That'd be catastrophic for a lot of people. I mean, you could never do it yeah. because the houses are so high. And that's kind of where we're at. We're, we're going both ways. There's still a big demand. So the, the housing stock isn't as big as they, they would like it to be. And you're also paying the higher interest. How does somebody get a hold of you? You give my honey a call. She's at 870-405-0793. The website is retiredtoarkansas.net. Uh, there's, you can, if you want to search, that's a great place to search. Everything is current on there. Uh, there's a bunch of other information on the area. If you're going to send it out to your friends or something, you can share that link. And uh, there's some great camera shots, as you see here every morning. Give Bob or Linda Zador a call, 870-405-0793. Realtors, you would recommend to a friend, and like I always say, they're always busy but never too busy to meet somebody new. So if you're looking for some, a piece of God's country, coming down to check out some real estate, some land, a farm, uh, commercial property, give them a call. They'll be glad to help you no matter what time of day or it is. So oh, yeah. yeah well, no, we holiday. never closed. We worked, we worked all holiday weekend. Fourth of July, I was sitting at this lady's countertop getting, getting the final paperwork signed on the counter. And there you go. And there we go. See you next week. We appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. A trusted name in the mountain home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors. The reason being they have high-tech equipment, their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do, and they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. Diatley Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Diatley grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning. Through all the ups and downs of life. From the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service. Call Overhead Door Company of North Arkansas today in Mountain Home. At Serendipity Bliss, we love turning your day into a once-in-a-lifetime memory by offering unique, beautiful, and specialized event and wedding rentals that can transform any atmosphere into something you will never forget. Whether it's your dream wedding, a golden anniversary, sweet 16 party, or a company event, we can make any event blissfully perfect. Serendipity Bliss carries unique specialty gifts and bridal jewelry and helps coordinate decor, table items, theme-related pieces, and more. Make your day blissfully perfect with Serendipity Bliss, located behind Car Care Mountain Home. Scrap Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's time for XL7 Sports. It's Friday. We like to talk sports on Friday. This, today's my guest is Coach David Drew, the Mountain Home Diamonds, and I'm going to let him introduce the, our guest that we have with us this morning. This is uh, Coach Jennifer Rowe with the ASU Mountain Home Trailblazers. ASU Mountain Home Trailblazers. Welcome. Thank you. It's okay, breathe. It's all right. It's all going to be okay. <laughs> the Mountain Home, ASU Mountain Home Trailblazers. When will they start their season? We will start in early September. 
Um, we joined the NJCAA just very recently. Um, we're so excited to be able to play st uh, universities, junior colleges in the state of Arkansas and a couple in Oklahoma. We are in Division II, Region II of the NJCAA. Well, we'll get into the real meat of the softball here in just a minute, but let's know who Coach Rowe is. Okay, well, I grew up in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, and I went to Radford University where I played softball. It's a Division I college. Um, I got my bachelor's degree in health and phys ed there. I uh, also coached in the state of Virginia and umpired for a while. Um, later on, returned to um, to school to get a master's and PhD in psychology. So I am really uh, delving into some sports psychology right now and I'm excited about being able to bring that to the table um, with these players. I love Mountain Home. I've been here about eight years now. Uh, when I drove through this town the first time and I saw that beautiful campus, I knew in my heart I was going to work there. Um, prior to ASU Mountain Home, I lived in uh, northern Mississippi and I worked at the University of Memphis. I was the learning specialist for the Center for Athletic Academic Services and in that role I worked with um, all of the Division I student athletes who needed some extra assistance to keep them eligible. Um, I did things like time management, uh, study skills, test taking strategies, uh, stress management, sometimes they have test anxiety. So. I've been currently doing uh, this type of work with our students at ASU Mountain Home as the student retention specialist. So I'm so happy now to have this opportunity to work with student athletes uh, on the same types of things. And I'm going to set up time management schedules for not just our, our softball team, but all of our new student athletes so that they are able to not only get their, their classes done, but their study time in, you know, it, balancing with their uh, sports practice schedules um, and even some of our students having to work as well so they're very busy Virginia's um, Northeast school is that considered a Northeast no, school? We're, Virginia's still in the still south, south? <laughs> still the south you talk too fast to be from the south <laughs> <laughs> well when you get nervous when you, you might get, talk a little when bit. you get across <laughs> that Norfolk Lake you got to slow down a little bit okay because you you travel back in time about 50 years and things slow down so you don't have to talk to yourself everything's good okay it's all good well i got all of my history out so. you did you, <laughs> you got it right out your role is the the first coach of, of the trailblazers for the girls lady softball team uh, that's got to be exciting to be part of that it's something new it is so exciting um i'm just thrilled to be a part of this inaugural team um, and it's an honor and a privilege to coach these young women. Um, it's an honor and privilege for these young women who are uh, getting to play softball um, at the next level. So. David, and it's got to be exciting for you and your involvement in the softball programs. You've been messing with softball how long? Ever? A while, yeah. <laughs> Nearly forever? Yeah, a long time. You know, I, back in the 90s, early 80s, I was the president of the girls softball team for, for nine years. So softball's got a little spot in my heart still, yep. and I really enjoy watching the girls and being part of that. But you, you guys have taken it back when I was involved. We were still slow pitch. Mm -hmm. And now that it's fast pitch, and you've developed a number of teams over the years, and you currently coach the Mountain Home Diamonds. Mm -hmm. You helped form the Acad Mountain Home Academy yes. back to get the seventh and eighth grade playing. Uh, how do you feel about ASU Mountain Home being an outlet for some of your girls that want to play at the next well, level? I, I think it's great, and uh, we actually have three girls that are former Diamonds that are that are on this committed team. to play. Yep. Right. So, are you at liberty to say who they are? Is it okay to say who they are? Yeah, I mean uh, it's Maddie Belk, um, Gracie Uchman, and Kenzie Taylor. All and those three are of them. seniors from last year, year before. Uh, they'd be twenty twenty ones. Twenty ones. Yep. So that's exciting. And, yep. And how do you feel about having a feeder program right here in town that you can go watch and, and take a look at the girls? That's truly amazing. Um, I have got to see these young women play, um, and I'm just so grateful to have all this local talent here and also with, uh, with David, who's going to uh, help assist in some of our practices um, and help running drills. Well, see, our, I didn't know that part. I didn't know you yeah. were going to be helping with our team. We've been keeping it a secret. It was. We broke news, Scooter. We have Breaking broke news. news. It's out now. Yeah. Uh, well, that yeah. that is really 
exciting too then yeah. because you've got not only a local pool of students but you've got a coach that's been around this circuit playing at these other schools and other teams that put together in the summertime to help you recognize some of the talent most definitely that's that's really good when will your season start it's in September. Um, our game uh, will be posted on uh, ASU uh, Facebook, I'm sorry, Facebook also, but also our webpage, asumh.edu. That's coming very soon. Um, we'll be playing a, a shorter schedule in the fall and then um, a little longer schedule in the spring. In the spring, the games actually start in early February. Uh, all of our games will be double headers as well. So it's a split season then, or is it, it is. two separate seasons? It's it's two. What separate is it considered? I, I I don't understand college softball. Yet. Fall is more like uh, scrimmage. You know, just a just a you just play in the fall. It, it's not a season as far as standings go. Okay. Let me add too that this first year uh, we are considered um, playing exhibition games, so we won't qualify for postseason play uh, until the 2023-24 schedule. And postseason play is based only on your spring schedule. Okay. And the spring schedule is the one that starts in February then? The spring schedule starts in February. That's correct. February of 2024 is when we will then compete to be able to play postseason games. Okay. How does your – how has the community been receiving the idea of ASU Mountain Home having sports? I think it's very, very positive. Um, we have so many people that have, have, we've seen in the community and others have told me that, hey, I heard ASUMH is getting softball and it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful thing and we're going to be able to play uh, at the Mountain Home High School field and so what a wonderful place that is with the turf and um, the quality of, of field that we have there. So. As your schedule looks now that coming up for September, does it look like you'll be playing during the week or you'll be playing on weekends? Both. Uh, we have a lot of Tuesday games. Uh, we do travel and play on Saturdays also. Okay. It's just an exciting thing. It really is. Uh, ASU Mountain Home is, has developed a sports program. You have an athletic director. Would you mind introducing his name? Please? Our athletic director is Matt Klinger. He's doing a fantastic job in <clears throat> getting debtor in order and equipment, uh, lining up the schedules. Um, and he's just an amazing, truly caring guy. So we're very blessed to have him. And we'll get him a phone call and get him invited on, and we'll visit with him as well and talk about there's other, some other things coming up mm -hmm. at ASU Mountain Home, which would be good to talk about. So we want to know about your development as a, not only a player, but that you went into coaching and then you've become, you have your master's degree. That transition from going from high school into college, um, people need to understand that these are students first. An athlete, being an athlete is a byproduct of being a good student. But being a good athlete, you can also, you have to be a good student to be a good athlete. So the importance of grade point average and attendance in class, paying attention, you can't just sit there and get by. You've got to put forth the effort. From what I gathered out of your statement earlier, that is a big drive for you as well is to make sure that these students not only are on the path as being an athlete but on the path of being a good student absolutely and it's it's student athlete for a reason not athlete student because they're students first mm -hmm. um, and we care about them and their academic development as a priority um, and it's an honor and privilege to get to be an athlete as well but to remain eligible, a student must keep a minimum GPA of 2.0. Um, as an entering student, though, with ASU Mountain Home, uh, they don't, we don't have minimum requirements for them to come there. So if they have a low ACT score, that's okay. If they have a low high school GPA, that's okay. Um, but we will work with them, uh, and I'm working you know, one on one individually with our student athletes for any kind of assistance that they might need um, as far as study skills um, and just time management things. We have a great tutoring center, so I'm going to make sure that they have the resources available to help them um, because they do need to be successful academically. Um, we work with them you know, in every way that we can to help them grow and develop as, as students. It's a little bit different in college than it is in high school. It's a little bit more stringent and also the, the student 
the student athletes are going to be held a little bit to a higher standard. Um, they can't really withdraw from classes if they're struggling because they need to maintain uh, 12, minimum 12 credit hours. So that's basically four classes. Um, I'm going to throw in here, if that's okay, uh, that we do need a few more players. We'll come back we'll to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, we're going to have a break right now. Okay. You're watching XL7 Sports on XL7 TV. We'll be back in just a moment. Scrap Daddy's Metals is a full-service scrap recycling center accepting your scrap metals for recycling, paying you top dollar for all of your recyclable metals. They even buy cars and catalytic converters. Give them a call today at 870-424-6120 or visit them at 2821 Howie 5 North in Mountain Home. At Letty's Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why we've installed a convenient pickup window for all your to-go and pickup orders, as well as a covered outdoor seating area. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal. And don't forget, Letty's also provides catering for small parties or big events. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. Close to Lake Norfolk and a short journey to Jordan County Line Liquor is your destination for all your refreshment needs. They offer the widest variety of all your wines, beers, and liquors with the cleanest atmosphere and the largest selection in the area. Not sure what to get? Ask Jordan County Line Liquor's friendly and knowledgeable staff for an expert recommendation you can't go wrong with. Also, don't forget about the Smoker's Den for all your smoking and accessory needs. That's Jordan County Line Liquor, close to Lake Norfolk, located on Highway 177 in Jordan, Arkansas. Ever been in a cave before? It's our first time. All right. Where are you going? I'll see you at the car! But how will we... The car! Your offer has been accepted. Ever bought a house before? It's our first time. All right. Where are you going? I'll see you at the closing. But how will we... The closing! It's a matter of taste, and at Brick Oven Pizza Company in Mountain Home, delicious taste is all you will find. Enjoy signature crafted pizzas and appetizers, as well as oven-baked sandwiches, quesadillas, salads, pastas, and desserts. When it comes time to relax or meet up with friends, Brick Oven Pizza has you covered. Handmade cocktails and ice-cold beer are always available at their fully stocked bar. No time to dine in? No problem. Call in your order and use Brick Oven's convenient drive through window for all your to-go orders. It's a matter of taste at Brick Oven Pizza Company in Mountain Home. Have you ever? Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's Friday and we're talking sports on Friday. We've got Jennifer Rowe is the ASU Mountain Home softball coach and David Drury, the coach of the Mountain Home Diamonds. The, uh, we were talking a little bit before we went to break about girls playing for the Trailblazers. At what age are they too old? You talked about having some 22s or some 21s out there, which means they graduated in 2021. Can you pick up a 2020 uh, that might be out there and interested in coming back and, and trying to get an education and play? Most definitely. Uh, if any young women have had, or, or not so young women, have had softball playing experience, um, I welcome them to, to come and Is work with our team. Is there an age limit? I would say no. I would say no. Um, you have to be able to run the bases, uh, field the ball, hit the ball. As long as your skill level is you know, there, then bring, you know, come on, get in touch with me. I'm so some of you that are out there playing rag ball that uh, right. have thoughts about playing again, uh, give Coach Rowe a call because, by golly. David, you've produced a lot of girls through the softball system, and uh, you've got three that played for the Diamonds, and there are several that played for Mountain Home High School that you probably could call and say, hey, look, if you yep. don't do anything, you might want to check this out. Yep. How many girls do you have signed and ready to play? I have 13 at the moment. Uh, we need about 18. You know, we are playing doubleheader games, and so we need certainly need some extra players. We're going to have injuries, illnesses. It just happens. Uh, so we do need some some extra players. 
and we know that right now uh, ASU Mountain Home is not able to offer any scholarships. Um, is there any other kind of assistance? Um, and there is uh, helping them get their grades and their ACTs where they need to be. Yes, there's that kind of assistance. But what's the draw to come to Mountain Home for a, a young lady that might want to play? Well, let's visit the financial piece first. Okay. Uh, Eighty-five percent of ASU MH students are fully funded through our federal Pell, Pell Grant, Pell Grants, and scholarships. Um, there's also the Arkansas Challenge Scholarship. If students have an ACT of 19 or higher, they qualify for those funds. Um, there is the Promise Scholarship if they went to Mountain Home High School, and that covers just about everything. Mm -hmm. So we do have some wonderful incentives. There's also um, some great resources online to search for your own scholarships. And there's a resource at fastweb.com where anybody attending college can search for any a variety of types of scholarships available, not just there's some that are athletic, but there are others as well. And they don't necessarily um, have to have great you know, ACT scores or GPA from high school. Um, they're not all academic scholarships. So that's available. Um, what else were you wanting me to discuss there, Bob? <laughs> the number of girls that you've got yeah. um, currently, you say, is about 13. That's right. Where are you drawing them from? Uh, we have some local talent here. We have some uh, former um, students that uh, played at Flippin. Uh, that we have about six players that are currently attending ASU that didn't get to play, you know, last year. Uh, but they're excited to be able to play again. Um, they're now sophomores for us. Um, you know, then some of them lost a year with pa the pandemic. Uh, so we're getting those. We have some also that come to us from some travel ball teams. Uh, we have a young lady from Missouri that's coming and moving here to play for us. And uh, another one from another uh, southern part of the state. So they are moving to play uh, for the love of the game. Um, and the wonderful experience and opportunity to come to ASU Mountain Home. We are the number one ranked school by Wallet Hub in the state of Arkansas. We've also won Aspen, um, been nominated for the top 150 colleges, junior colleges in the country by Aspen. Um, that's quite an honor and that's, we've done that about, let's see, four of the last five years, I do believe. Uh, so the education that we have here is outstanding. Uh, we have a number of degree programs that we offer, and also if uh, people are interested in going into healthcare, we've recently partnered with Baxter Regional Medical Center to where the Baxter Regional Medical Center is funding students. They are not only paying for their books and tuition, but also offering a $500 a semester stipend for going into our nursing programs, um, and I believe it's EMT. So, so not only will they have the opportunity to play softball again, but they can come here and get a good education. Absolutely. You know, ASU, the ASU program as a whole uh, is well recognized across the country. And then ASU Mountain Home is just an outstanding facility. It's a beautiful campus. Very beautiful campus. You've got a daughter that goes to ASU Jonesboro. Mm -hmm. How's her sports life been over there it's pretty good she she enjoys it you know she dances over there and she'll be a senior this year and hard to uh, believe that yeah but uh you know they they work hard and uh go to make it to uh nationals in daytona beach every year and and uh, dance at all the football and basketball games and it's uh it's a tough grind but you know it, she's always said that the 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 team gives her outlets to help with her studies because there's a, there was always somebody older to uh she could ask hey what is this professor how does he teach do i need to stay away from this one or this class or you know um or then help her with her studies during because they've already had that person so mm -hmm. it's uh it's been a good good experience for her over there for sure and bringing it back into mountain home at asu mountain home the the student count per professor can't be near as big as it is like at a Fayetteville or somewhere. No. The ratio is, is usually about 20 to 1, sometimes less than that, with the teacher to student ratio. So less than what they have at high school. Right. They get more one-on-one -on -one at school than they, at college, than they do at the high school, probably. 
People may not think that's a big thing, but it's a huge thing. It's yeah. huge. Because you get more hands-on, more one-on-one -on -one involvement with the professor. You can ask a question, and you're just not a number or a face. They can give you the help that you need to get things done. Yeah, and sometimes our students come here that are unprepared for college-level classes. So we have a number of classes, developmental classes, to get them college ready. And we have some great instructors for those courses as well, um, even smaller course size. Uh, for those individuals who need that little bit extra assistance to get them ready. Let's go back to softball a little bit. When will you start practicing with your team as a team? Well, let's, uh, it's going to be later in August. I actually attend a meeting with the NJCAA next Tuesday. We're getting a little bit more of our rules and regulations and guidelines as to when we're allowed to start and um, you know, what, how we need to proceed from there. So the sooner the better. Uh, some of our, our players um, have all met and we've had uniform sizing from the locker room uh, last week and so they've exchanged numbers they're getting together on their own um, so unofficial practices among themselves sure. um, and back to the the whole academic piece there too with I, I have some very strong uh, academic students that um, have been at ASU Mountain and their current sophomores and I've spoken with them about taking some of these brand new freshmen under their wing, mentor them, help them learn what it means to be in college and to be successful in college. Yeah, bottom line, it's about the degree. Yep, You that's want right. to get that degree. Mm -hmm. And if getting somebody that's been laid out of college, laid out of sports for a year or two or three, um, if you can get them sparked enough to get back in the, and help them get that degree, that's what it's all about. Yep. You know, the sports at this point is a byproduct, but it's a good byproduct. It's something that's exciting for the community. It's something exciting for ASU Mountain Home. It's got to be exciting for the girls on the Diamonds team and any other travel team that's out there. Uh, looking forward to it. David, you've got. Uh, Diamonds playing tomorrow at Searcy. Searcy tomorrow. What time you start? Uh, Nine o'clock is our first game, so and it'll just it, it'll depend on if we win or lose that game, what time we play. But uh, we'll I will put our schedule on the bracket on on our Facebook page uh, here in a little while, and and uh, of course we'll be live on the on the sideline. Yep, yeah, SB Live or eight. Sideline. Sideline HD. There I'm you sorry. go. Sideline HD. Yeah. yeah. There's too many of them to keep up <laughs> yes. with, but uh, but uh, you know, right now the the girls are working on a a, a food drive. They're doing a food drive uh, from now till the till the 14th uh, for the food bank in North Central Arkansas, uh, picking up canned goods. So if you uh, have some you want to get rid of or make a donation, just let us know and we'll get that to the to the food bank of. North Central Arkansas. That'd be great. How they get a hold of you to do that? Uh, eight seven zero four two one two four three three. There you go, Coach. Does the uh, Trailblazers have a website that you'll be posting all the schedules and stuff, highlights and whatever? Too? We we have just our basic ASUMH.edu website. <coughs> uh, we'll have some athletics information that's going to be posted there. But I will go ahead and give out my cell number if there's anybody interested in playing. Maybe you don't even know what you want to do in college. We have. Uh, a great uh, software program that can help you determine uh, any kind of potential career that you want. My number is 540-588-2378. And that, that number needs to be used. If you're a young lady out there that hasn't played in a while, thinking about it, give Coach Rowe a call. Just, just let her know. So look, I haven't played in three or four years, but I think I still have something you think you can contribute and you really want to get that degree done you may have worked on a little bit laid off of it as well give her a call let her talk to you heck you may not play softball but she can maybe help you at least get back into school that's you right. know, and that's kind of where we're at that's what we're looking for um, love to get a great player out of it but sure. you may not be able to do that David best of luck to you tomorrow and Cersei Appreciate Coach it. Rowe I look forward to hearing back from you on how things are going Thank you. Uh, if I can be of any assistance anywhere, let me know. I'll be glad to do it for you. We appreciate your time, and uh, we'll be having you back on later on during the season. Great. Thanks for watching us. We appreciate you watching the morning show in XL7 Sports on XL7 TV. So see you Monday.